bright duty every student matters now we are going to study some large numbers which are in practice in our day to day life okay now in earlier classes we have learned that we use centimeters as a unit of length right for measuring the length of a pencil the width of a book or notebooks etc we use centimeters our ruler has marks on each centimeter for measuring the thickness of a pencil however we find centimeter too big we use millimeter or mm to show the thickness of a pencil right so uh, now we have used centimeters okay for uh, measuring the for measure uh, for measurements in the earlier classes right we used our we used our 15 cm long scale to make the different measurements now for smaller measurements for example the thickness of a pencil centimeter is also bigger so we use millimeter which is even a smaller unit of measuring length now 10 mm is equal to 1 cm so 10 mm is equals to 1 cm and this is very important you should keep this in mind to measure the length of the classroom or the school building we shall find centimeter too small now this is another unit of measurement of length but to measure the length of a uh, uh, larger objects or the length of a classroom or in order to measure the distance between two cities now millimeter is a very small unit centimeter is also a very small unit so in that case for example to measure the length of a classroom we use meter okay and 1 meter or 1 m is equals to 100 cm okay so this is another important conversion that you should keep in mind okay right so 1 meter is equals to 100 cm 1 meter is equals to 100 cm and since 1 meter is equals to 100 cm and 1 cm is equals to 10 mm so into 10 so 1 meter is equals to 1000 mm okay so even meter is too small when we have to state distances between cities say delhi mumbai chennai or kolkata so if we have to measure the distances between these cities uh, even uh, uh, meter is a very small uh, unit of measurement okay now what about kilometer now kilometer is equals to 1000 meter so 1 kilometer is equals to 1000 meter this is another important uh, conversion that we need to keep in mind and how many millimeters will make 1 kilometer now you know that 1 kilometer is equals to 1000 meter and what is 1 uh, meter 1 meter is 100 cm and what is uh, 1 cm 1 cm in turn is 10 mm so we have to make conversions we have to convert kilometer into millimeter so how much will this be 1000 into 1000 right so this will become how much this will become 10 lakh millimeter okay so 1 kilometer is equals to 10 lakh millimeter so now let's remember let's try and remember these conversions we have 1 cm is equals to 10 millimeter we have 1 meter is equals to 100 cm or 1000 millimeter we have 1 kilometer is equals to 1000 meter okay or 1 lakh this is a uh, 1 lakh centimeter all right or 10 lakh millimeter right 1 lakh centimeter or 10 lakh millimeter okay so this this is the conversion that we are keeping in mind all right okay so let's now move forward okay so we have a try these question now now how many centimeters make a kilometer we just did this conversion so 1 kilometer is equals to i'm sorry i'll use the other one so 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meter which is equal to 1000 into 100 cm so this is 
how many zeros we have? 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 zeros. So 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 zeros and then 1. So we have got 1 lakh centimeter. Okay. Right. So this is the first answer. Now the second one is name 5 large cities in India. So we have to name 5 large cities in India. So uh, at the top of my mind I have got uh, 5 large cities in India. We have got Mumbai, then we have got Delhi, we have got Bangalore, then we have got Chennai, then we have got Kolkata. Okay, so these are large cities in India. Uh, also find their populations. Okay, so now we are going to uh, write down the population of these cities. So I just googled it for you guys. So I, I'm going to write it down on screen now. So the population of Mumbai is Okay, so it is one, two I'm sorry, I'll use a, the other pen. So this is one, two, six, nine, one 836 putting commas it is 1 crore 26 lakh 91,836 now let's come to population of Delhi it is 10927986 okay this is 1 crore 9 lakh 27,986 now what about Bangalore it is 5104047 if we put commas okay it is 51 lakh 4047 now uh, for chennai we have got 4328063 let's put commas and read them so it is uh, 43 lakh 28063 and then we have got Kolkata, so this is 4631392. So I'm going to put commas here, so I'll get 46,31,392. So this is the population of the largest, uh, largest cities in India. And uh, it is also given that you need to find the distance in kilometers between each pair of these cities. Okay, so you can try and find this information on Google and this is also a homework for you. Now, we go to the market to buy rice or wheat, right? And we buy it in kilograms. But items like ginger or chilies, which we do not need in large quantities, we buy in grams. This is very true. We know 1 kilogram is equals to 1000 grams. So, 1 kilogram is equals to 1000 grams. So, this conversion also you need to remember. Have you noticed the weight of the medicine tablets given to the sick? It is very small, it is in milligrams. This is very true. Okay. And 1 gram, okay, 1 gram is equals to 1000 milligram. Okay. So, what is the capacity of a bucket for holding water? It is usually 20 liters. And capacity is given in liters, but sometimes we need a smaller unit like the millimeters, milliliters. Okay. Now, a bottle of hair oil. A cleaning liquid or a soft drink have labels which give the quantity of liquid inside in milliliters. So there are smaller bottles or smaller containers in which the capacity is mentioned in milliliters and one liter, okay, one liter is equals to 1000 milliliter. Okay, so you need to keep these denotions in mind. Now, note that in all these units, we have some words common like kilo, milli and centi, right? You should remember that among these, kilo is the greatest, okay? So, kilo is the greatest among these. Milli is the smallest, okay? Milli is the smallest among these. Kilo shows 1000 times bigger. Milli shows 1000 times smaller. So therefore, 1 kilogram is equals to 1000 grams and 1 gram is equals to 1000 milligrams. Okay. Similarly, centi shows 100 times smaller. That is 1 meter is equals to 100 centimeter. 
So I hope you have understood that why we are uh, doing these conversions in meter, centimeter, gram, kilogram and milligram. So kilo shows 1000 times bigger and milli shows 1000 times smaller. That is why uh, 1 meter is equals to 1000 millimeter. Okay. But uh, the centi shows 100 times smaller. So 1 meter is equals to 100 centimeter. And kilo shows 1000 times bigger. So therefore 1 kilometer is equals to 1000 meter or 1 kilogram is equals to 1000 gram. So this way you are going to remember these things. Okay. And this also is very usual. I mean it it is uh, very useful in day-to-day -day life. Now, how many milligrams make 1 kilogram? So, we have to find out how many milligrams make 1 kilogram. Now, 1 kilogram is equals to 1000 grams. Okay. And we know that 1 gram is equals to 1000 milligram. So, 1 kilogram is equals to 1000 gram into 1000. So, this is... We have got six zeros, okay, so this is 10 lakh milligrams. So, 1 kg is equals to 10 lakh milligrams. Okay, so first question is done. The second one is, a box contains 2 lakh medicine tablets. Okay, how many medicine tablets are there? Number of medicine tablets in the box. Okay, how many medicine tablets are there? 2 lakh medicine tablets, each weighing 20 milligram. Okay, so each tablet weighs 20 mg. Okay, now what is the total weight of all the tablets in the box in grams and in kilogram? So, total weight of all the tablets in the box in gram okay so for gram we have got first of all 2 lakh tablets into 20 so we have got 2 into 2 is 4 and how many zeros we have 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 zeros so 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 zeros and then we have got 4 let me put commas okay so this is 40 lakh milligrams. Now we have to convert 40 lakh milligram into gram. Okay. So 40 lakh milligram divided by 1000. So this is 4000 grams. And so uh, weight of all the tablets in grams. So I will say weight of all the tablets in grams is equals to 4000 grams now weight of all the tablets in kg is equals to 4000 divided by 1000 that is equals to 4 kg okay so i hope that you have understood this well